Want to create a chatbot like this using Gemini and React? Please follow until the end of this video. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple chatbot quickly using React and Gemini API. Let's get get started. All right. At first, we'll just create a React project. Uh, let's name it Gemini Chat or something. And then we'll create a React TypeScript project. Then we'll go into now. Let's first start a VS Code editor. And then while I'm there, I'll npm run dev it says go to localhost 5173 if i click on this take me to a bare bones default v react app now let's get into the app and make our changes so we'll just go into app tsx uh, we'll just start creating a chat container We'll give it a class name of chat container and it will have a response box for you know the chat response we get from Gemini and it will have a input container which will contain the input box and a submit button for the users. Again, this will have a text area and a button. This is first give it a button name called submit. And let's just check it out how it looks. So you got a very simple app right now. Let's add a class name to this text area. We'll name it query input. All right, to update the style, let's go remove all of these and we'll just add a style for our chat container at first. A black, but no. All right, something like this style for response box we a simple gray and then let's let's do this and okay this is how it looks i think we can make it more faint looks better and light gray let's give it this hex code uh let's also style our input container gap between these two let's just do something like 12 pixels yep nice all right let's finally let's add some style for query input give it more like stark shadow so that looks something like this and it's differentiated from the overall background. Now that we have the look and feel kind of ready, let's add some state and behavior to this app. We'll have a state for the text area query input thing. Um, so the state will be something like this. Let's also create a response state and then let's also create a loading state that we'll use when user has clicked a submit button but hasn't re received a response probably be a few hundred milliseconds All right now let's use these states here text area will have a placeholder called 
type your query or something and then a value that will use the text and on change now let's add a event handler to this text area so that we can update the state um, to the target uh, value and uh, while we're on this let's add a disable attribute when the loading spinner is on now let's check it out yep okay now guest in response we'll probably need to add a response thing see how it looks this is a response yep uh instead of the middle let's go ahead and add a text align of right so that it has a fill of okay nice nice all right uh let's add an event handler for the button click we'll use this button to you know make the call to gemini api and do stuff we'll do on click and handle the button click we'll also add a disable attribute to this based on the loading state all right i now let's as a next step let's go to our gemini ai studio it's ai studio api key and then let's create an api key we'll use a project if you ha if you don't have a project you need to go to google cloud console and create a project here and just you know name a project i've already created one called issue tech i'll create the api key uh here and then create api key in existing project this will give me the api key i'll copy it and i'll create an dot env file and then i will do something like gemini api key and paste it here quick heads up i'm storing the api key in the env file for this demo but don't do this in real world apps anything in the front end gets exposed and for real projects keep secrets safe on a secure backend and call the api from there say we put everything related to gemini inside another file i'll create a ups folder and create a file for gemini.ts here i will reference the gemini api key here uh, the way you import the API key variable in your .n file in a vid app is using this method import.meta.env and then you do like the Gemini API key. To use Gemini, we should go ahead and install let's import we'll, we'll import a class called google creative api class here and then we have the api key now what we need to do is create an instance of this class API and then have an api key now let's define a generation config this is just using these values i got from the gemini documentation to be honest and then we'll just reference the model we want to use text for send query to gemini and this query will be as a text string and
which should be an async function. Now let's draft a prompt. And prompt will be actually let's create a default prefix to all the prompts. So starts after I'll give it a you know, term that it can look for before it sinks. Now we'll just combine our user query with this default prompt. Which mean I so that it knows needs to look at anything after this term will time to call the api now to use model dot generate content and we'll just pass it this prompt now we'll we need to await for the response and then we'll need to let's see looks and now we'll just return hmm now what i'm thinking is send query gemini and then we'll send it text this is also defined as an async function and await this yeah it's returning a country see so it looks like it's a text with a response like it's a an object with a key called response so what we need to do now is uh, actually we'll do value and then value dot response all right let's do this and here we'll do res equals and then set response to res and what we'll do is uh, actually let's test it out first pass it a country and then okay now we need to add some indicator that the query is being submitted and response is being fetched so now to add some kind of indicator what we need to do is update the loading state to true before sending the request to Gemini and once we get the response back we set the loading to false and we'll use this loading state to something like loading the response or something and then do this now if we go and check the what is a nation loading the response and then yep looks good this is basically what i wanted to you guys i mean you could obviously add as much styling as you want but this is it for this video maybe i'll create another one in the future for now thank you for watching if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. Thank you. See you in the next video.